Hey, Kevin here. What we're going to go over today, I'm going to teach you the introduction to a very popular worship song, Lord You Are Good by Israel Holton and Newbreed. Um, the song is done in the key of E, um, very uh, creative introduction, and but really pretty simple. Um, a couple of shapes that I'm going to show you, you'll be able to kick this song off because it started off by guitar. So we'll be the ones starting this song off. So we'll make sure that you're playing the correct chords. Okay. The first chord that we're going to play is a E sus chord. And when I say sus, that means substitution or not, not a substitution, a suspended chord, a sus, S-U-S, suspension chord. Okay. So we'll start out of course, on our 7th fret, and we're going to play a bar chord. Bar there, okay? All the way across the 7th fret. All the way across. Make sure you play it in the middle, because if you play it on the frets, you get that. Play it that way, you're going to get fret. So you want to make sure you place your finger directly in the middle of the fret. And if I can do it with these big fat logs of mine, you can do it too. <laughs> so place your index finger across, um, starting on your fifth string, right here, and all the way down. So you should hear that sound. All the strings should be pretty clean. You don't have to press too, too hard, but just hard enough where you're able to get all the notes in there, okay? Then you're going to go to the ninth fret on the D string, which is the fourth string. You should hear that. And then play that bar across. Okay, that's not all though. We just I'm just laying the foundation. So we have the seventh fret, I'm sorry, the ninth fret on the D string. And if you wanted to know what that note is, that would be a B. Okay, so we're playing so far. Good. So right up under that with that pinky finger on the third string on the ninth fret, we're going to put that in there. We're going to tuck that up, up under that, that ring finger. And we have the E sus chord. It's called the E sus. That means suspension, not substitute. Suspension. Okay, so that's the first chord. Okay, so it starts out with a double strike. Down and up. See that? That's the first chord. Now the next chord, it's going to be almost similar. Because what we're going to do is we're going to play that, put that bar chord back in effect. Okay, we're still going to do that across. But what we're going to do is we're going to add that, that B on the ninth fret, that on that D string. And then instead of tucking our pinky up under, we're going to go to the eighth fret on the G string and play that note right there, which is a E flat or a D sharp. Play that note and then play those together. We'll have... Okay, and that's an E major seven chord, an E major seven sus chord, another um, sus suspension chord. Okay, so we have that. Here are the notes again. Okay, so let's go back and review. First chord, E, e sus E sus chord. <laughs> Try to say that fast three times. Next one. Now we're going to strike it the same way we did the first chord. So we hit down, up, down, up. Okay, the first one, second one. Now, the next one is even easier. Okay, the next shape is even easier because all we're going to do is play that bar chord across that same fret we've been barring. Okay. So 
without putting anything else down, we're just going to bar that chord across that same fret. So we're barring across that same fret and we're going to strike it the same way that we did the first two chords. So here we go again from the beginning. And finally, the last chord for the introduction is an A major triad. And all it is, starting on the 7th fret, on the D string, which is the 4th string, right? We have that. Then we're going to play on the 6th string, which is our 3rd string, is the G string. We're going to place our finger there. So we have... And then finally, on the 5th fret, on the B string, we're going to play that note there, which is an E. So the notes are A, C sharp, and E. So we have the 7th fret on the 4th string. Okay, 4th string. Then we have on the 3rd string, the 6th fret. And then on the second string, which is the B, we have that E on that fifth fret right there. And if you want, if you want, you can actually bar down across that fifth fret and catch that, that A, which is the octave. So we can play. So, and then we'll strike that the same way. So here we go. Review. First chord. Again. And that is the introduction to Lord You Are Good by Israel Holton. Listen, thank you so much for viewing. Can't wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> Take care.